this you? Well, tell you what, if when you squat, you feel your heels popping up, quite frankly, it's a good possibility that you have limited ankle dorsiflexion, all right? So you're not able to bring your toes up toward your shins. Now, if you're doing a squat, an overhead squat, and those heels wanna come up, place a book underneath your heels, and if you squat down, if that really fixes, the range of motion problem, it's a good possibility you have limited ankle dorsiflexion. Another good way to check that is simple. Now, we go to a wall. Why don't you come with me here? Now, I'm going to a wall. I'm going to place my hands eh, roughly six inches from the wall. And if I can't bring my knee, see this, to touch the wall with this ankle dorsiflexion, it's a good possibility and a good indication that we need to release some areas and activate the right ones. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so with limited ankle dorsiflexion, there's a few things I like people to do. These, these are simple. Now we could go through the whole thing where we hit the hip flexors and everything else, but let's try this quick fix first. So limited ankle dorsiflexion. Now we wanna release the soleus, the bottom part of the calves and the gastrocnemius, the big, thick, meaty part, okay? So we're gonna release that. It's going to grab a foam roller or roll on it. It's not going to feel good. And then we want to activate our anterior tibialis Whew. right here, essentially the front part of our shins. Okay. Uh, often if your feet are turning out, maybe you want to get the peroneals as well, which is the outside part of your shin. Easy enough. All right. So for sake of time, I'm just going to do one set at a time. Grab a foam roller and we're going to start on the bottom. So the soleus right here right by your Achilles tendon, okay? So we're gonna grab this. I like crossing one foot over the other. And all we're gonna do is roll until you find a knot, oof. And I found that right there. Now from here, we're gonna hold this for 30 to 60 seconds. And I also like kind of sliding and rolling over and getting different parts of that knot to see if I can get a release a little bit faster. So I'm gonna spend some time, like I said, 30 to 60 seconds on that. And then we roll up to that gastroc thick, meaty part of the calf. Once you find the knot, you're gonna find it pretty quickly. Hold on there, at least 30 seconds. Roll to the side, hit the outside part there, and really get that. Now often, I like people getting the outside part too, the peroneals, longus and brevis through here, just rolling over, and we get that, and hold through there, okay? Real simple, yet slightly painful. Now, after that, we wanna obviously do both sides. We're going to stretch out that gastroc and the soleus. So you can do this in multiple multitude of ways. Now you can simply, if you have one of those long bands, you grab them, we can get that stretch through. Most people don't have that, but everybody has a floor. So what you should do is come in, do like a little sprinter stretch here, load. I want you to kind of straighten that leg out and then drive that heel down towards the ground. You see that? This heel is driving down towards the ground. I'm gonna hold that at least for 30 seconds. Try to make sure that foot is straight. Because what's happening, if your foot naturally supinates or turns out, you wanna bring that straight, which will automatically get that stretch there. So we hold there, we hit both sides. You can also come up to a wall and hit that same stretch. See that? Okay. Now that we've lengthened that area, we also want to activate the front part, so the anterior tibialis. So here, they can grab a large band, we can tie it around a pole, or you can grab one of these small mini bands and bring it around your foot. And all we're gonna do is hold here and pull in. So if your arms are long enough like mine, you can do that. Otherwise, we can wrap that band uh, around the door. So I've got my band attached to the door. Now, if you've got one of those ankle cuffs on the bands or a cable, that's great, you can use that. Here, I'm simply just going to use the handle, okay, of this band. I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna let it come in, and then pull through. Control back, pull through. Now you want about a two second pause as you come in, the dorsal flexing in, and control about four seconds out and back through. 15 
to 20 reps on each side. You're gonna feel much better, all right? First thing, I'm gonna find the knots, soleus, bottom part here, roll that out, 30 to 60 seconds. Get the gastroc, both sides. You wanna stretch, lengthen, and then we're gonna activate, okay? Cool? And if you wanna integrate, you can do a step up into a balance as well. Just make sure that foot's straight. All right, got it? I'm Joey Thurman. Hopefully that helps. Follow me on all social channels at Joey Thurman Fit. Hit subscribe or bell, like, comment, share. Be nice. Be well. Take care of this to take care of this. All right. Cheers.